Today marks the beginning of Hispanic Heritage Month, and in case you're wondering why the month runs from mid-September to mid-October, it's because on September 15th, all Central American nations except Panama obtained independence from Spain. Other nations like Mexico and Chile also celebrate their independence throughout the month. A full 30 days to celebrate a community made up of our friends, family, neighbors, and trailblazers, which is why we are so excited about our next guest, Dr. Ellen Ochoa, the first Latina astronaut in space and the first Latina director of the Johnson Space Center. She joins us now to discuss how she's introducing young readers to the solar system, inspiring the next generation of aspiring astronauts and scientists. Dr. Thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to talk about your book for a moment, just to introduce people. It's a bilingual children's book, Dr. Ochoa's Stellar World. We are all scientists to dream big. So we appreciate, uh, it's so excited about the book and, and all the representation and inclusion. Uh, one of the first things I noticed about it is just how colorful it is. Yes. Uh, from the children to their outfits and all of the nature elements. Why was it so important for you to portray all the facets of science and, and scientists this way? Well, this book really gave me a chance to think about what I'd like to convey to young kids about science, and that it's about curiosity, it's about wondering about the world, which I think is something kids do very naturally. And if that gets them thinking about when I'm older, maybe science is something that I could study or become a scientist, uh, that's exactly the idea I'd like to plant. Yeah, planting those seeds early on. And, and diversity, of course, was top of mind here. Beyond just ethnicity, uh, you have different races, one little girl who's in a wheelchair, different hairstyles and textures, even showing a little boy in the kitchen. How are you trying to use this book as a tool to, to push the conversation of inclusion forward? Yeah, it really um, speaks to, I think, a whole wide variety of kids. And I've got to really thank the illustrator, Lali Reyes. Um, the publisher has worked with her before and thought she'd be really good for this project. And I think she helped bring the book to life as well. And your book offers Spanish-speaking parents an opportunity to engage and be a part of their children's education. Why was that important for you to make this uh, a bilingual book? Uh, it, it really is designed for families and communities that are all bilingual. And this will give them sort of a shared vocabulary in both English and Spanish about science. And there is going to be a series of books, one for each of the letters of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And so over the next year or two, I hope uh, people will really get the opportunity within the bilingual community to share this and, you know, give them all kinds of ideas about options for their kids' futures. And on a more personal note, your trajectory to become an astronaut almost didn't happen. You and I were talking a moment ago about how we both uh, write children's books, but something else we have in common. Uh, we both started out playing the flute. And oh. you, I was terrible, though. <laughs> I was awful. But you, on the other hand, considered becoming a flautist. How old were you when you developed this interest in STEM and decided, ah, maybe I'll, I'll leave the flute for just a hobby? Well, I was 10 when I started playing the flute, and uh, I didn't really start taking science class, uh, classes in college until I was probably 18 or 19. So it, it was quite a range before I thought I would try to understand more about science and engineering. I got interested in it through my math classes, which I always enjoyed. But I will say through high school and even college, music was really my passion. And your book also encourages the art of exploring right in your own playground. What are some at-home science-related activities that parents can do with their kids? Well, a lot of it certainly is out being in nature. Uh, of course, uh, being a, in space myself, looking at the stars and planets at night is certainly one area. And plants and animals are something I think kids are, are very interested in. Um, you mentioned there was a scene in a kitchen. Uh, you know, cooking is, is all about chemistry. And uh, I think if you can approach it from an area that kids are familiar with, um, it, it makes a bigger impression than just trying to talk about science in general. And, and becoming an astronaut, of course, is no small feat. Uh, for children who are interested in the world of space, what are some affordable avenues available to parents to, to help foster those interests? You know, there's a lot more material online than there used to be, and certainly NASA has a big uh, STEM engagement program, and they have all kinds of resources that are available online for students, for parents, for schools. So that's one great way to get a lot of exciting information about what's going on in space. 
Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Ochoa. Truly an honor to speak with you and to our viewers. You can purchase Dr. Ochoa's Stellar World. We are all scientists wherever books are sold. Thank you for having me and for highlighting Hispanic Heritage Month. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.